Hello humans, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to pot some caladiums and tell you a little bit about these plants. These are tropical plants that are native to Central and South America and they are grown from tuberous corm, which is commonly known as a bulb or tuber. Caladiums usually grow between 12 and 30 inches tall depending on the cultivar and growing conditions, but some can range smaller than 12 inches. For example, the dwarf strap caladiums are some of the smallest types of caladiums out there. An interesting fact about these plants is that in most places it's not hardy year round, so people overwinter the dry tubers indoors because they can only grow to full size in one season. Caladium care is not straightforward, but most of these plants need to be protected from full hot sun. They thrive under humid, moist, shaded areas with drainage at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. There's many types of caladiums that can tolerate direct sun, so it just depends on what variety you have. Alright, so these are all of the caladiums that I got. I believe I got um, five varieties or so. There's two of each for some, and I absolutely love them. They are so beautiful, and I love the color, all of the spots that they have. To be honest, they're like one of the prettiest plants I've ever seen in my life, and if I could just have these in mass quantities, like in a bed or so, they just would look splendid. I would love that so much. Anyways, these are all in containers like this. So here's a pot, and they are in containers like this. So I do have to pot them all. So I am going to do that with you today and we'll go from there. Also, something I want to mention that all of my pots have drainage now. I'm so excited about that. To be honest, I went ahead and drilled holes on all of my pots. They are there. Um, I actually show you how I did it in a previous video. If you go ahead and go to my channel, there's a previous video that I went ahead and uploaded where I show you how I drill holes on all of my pots. So let's go ahead and get started on potting all of these plants or caladiums. The soil that I'm using is just regular potting soil mix. Um, it looks like this. Okay, so Let's go ahead and do... In terms of planting caladium tubers in ground, they should be faced smooth side down, approximately 3 so inches deep beneath out. the soil. For best outcomes, make sure not to water if your soil is moist when planting. After the growing season, your zone and location will determine proper care. Due to these plants' tropical nature, the tubers won't survive cold winters. For example, if you live in USDA zones 3 through 7, tubers can be saved for the following year by digging them out in the fall before the leaves have lost all color. Spread them out on a table to dry for a week or two, then cut or pull the dry foliage from the tubers and remove all dry soil and pack in dry peat moss, perlite, or vermiculite for storage. To prevent infection, the tubers should not touch each other. Store them in a dry, warm place where the temperature will not drop below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. In zone A, caladiums are not reliably hardy, so there are two options, insulating the tubers from the cold with a thick layer of mulch or bring them indoors. If you decide to bring them indoors for the winter, make sure you dig up the tubers before the soil temperature drops below 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Lastly, in zones 9 through 12, caladium tubers are hardy and do not need any special care to survive the winter. This combination, this white At the end of the summer, the plants will begin to go dormant. The leaves will drop so and eventually beautiful. wither away. So Simply leave so the tubers in ground and wait for them to reemerge in the spring. As long as the soil is well drained and do not freeze, the tubers it's will return really to give you another to have, great show um, next spring. When can fertilize caladiums, out, growing in containers every two really weeks with a soluble liquid fertilizer to promote strong foliage growth, such as Miracle Grow Liquid All Purpose, such as Miracle Grow Liquid All Purpose 876. 
caution should be taken not to use a fertilizer too high in phosphorus, the middle number of the fertilizer analysis. If grown in ground, do a soil test to determine what additional nutrients the caladiums may require. In the absence of soil test, use a 1266 fertilizer every six weeks. The coastal areas of South Carolina tend to have soils naturally high in phosphorus. In that case, use a 15015 fertilizer without phosphorus. Common problems are tuber rot, which is a fungal decay of tubers in storage or during the growing season. There are disease-free tubers for planting if you want to go that route, but make sure to always store the tubers properly to avoid high humidity and in a dry, warm place where the temperature is above 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Never store the tubers in the fridge. Also, tubers purchased in early spring should be kept at room temperature. Remove and dispose of diseased leaves as they appear. The burning of the edges of older leaves and scorching of leaves usually are the result of fertilizer touching the leaves. Therefore, always wash off any fertilizer that may be on the leaves. Other problems are watering during the hot part of the day or too little watering. Very nice. So again, this is my first time trying out these caladiums and I just wanted to I just wanted to try them out. I wanted to see how they were. I know they're a shade loving plant. There's actually a bed that's like completely shaded um, for the majority of the day, except for the last two hours of the day. So I'm not sure if these will go well there. So I decided to know to, I decided to just pop them all and then put them in a shaded area. So here's a one, two, three, four. This is the fifth one. Right? I love this combination so, so much. So I actually love this blue color. Um, these blue looking pots, these blue pots, they're amazing. And with this one, with this caladium in particular, it just looks so good just because the whole leaf is white. It's, no, it's, the whole leaf is not white, but I mean, it has, you know, green veins, but those are the only two colors that this caladium has. too high up. There we go. Oh, that feels so good. Some breeze. Some breeze. Beautiful. 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 Nice. Turn it over. Actually really happy that I'm actually potting these right now because I waited too long. Beautiful. It's done. There's more soil. take off my gloves one more time just to get the hair out of my hair <laughs> get the hair out of my face and my lips put chopstick on it just sticking on just sticking on my lips there we go so I love this combination this blue with this red and the green oh my goodness to completely die for all right So one of my pots that didn't have drainage and I drilled a hole in there I thought it was gonna be harder than I thought I, it was I thought it was gonna be harder but it wasn't it was actually really really easy and I'm actually really glad I did it squeezing there we go this is also one of the bulbs that um, is just growing on the side so it's going to be hard to get this one in the middle without, you know, tearing the whole root system. Or not the whole root system, but just half the root system off. There. Perfect. Not too much soil. 
going to come out through the sides. Isn't this combination just so beautiful? This will also extend and become a little bit more roundish um, as it gets more water. There, and it should pop out. There we go, look at that root system. Just amazing. Looking really good. You're looking really good, plant. Right here we go. One more to go. Thank goodness, this is so dirty now. The soil in here. Look at this beautiful pot. It is so cute. I love it. I forget where I got this. I think it was like at Ross or TJ Maxx or something like that. Not TJ Maxx. Probably Ross. It was years and years and years ago. I used to have succulents in there. But it didn't have drainage, so I did put um I did put some rocks under there and you know, they just didn't last. There you go, little plant. Your new home. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, make sure to let me know in the comments below, as well as what plants I should do next. If you want to continue learning about plants, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notifications. As always, happy propagating! All done. Now all I have to do is put some water on all of these plants so they can drink up and be nice and perky. <laughs>